Look who it is. It's Twinny. I just made it to church. It is pouring rain outside. So thank goodness I have this in my car. I almost couldn't find it. And I was like, ooh, I usually don't mind rain, but this is some pretty heavy rain. I really would rather not walk Look through. who else is here. It's salt again. Well, the rain really picked up and I felt bad. So I went to go try and um, move stuff out of my like laundry room to see if salt would allow me to open the door and let her inside because then I can just close that door, but she ran. So I felt bad because now she got out of her little safety spot and had to run find somewhere else in the rain, but I was like, I was trying to help. I'm in the middle of my work day, but I just happened to finish the fifth book in the series while I was like in between posts. And I gotta admit, there are some times when it comes to, like if something happens in a book's like, for example, I have two more, two more, three more books to read I have the sixth the seventh and the eighth and then the ninth is coming out should be later this year anyway something happens at the end of the fifth book that I was like I need to make sure that that gets reversed and I was like I'm pretty sure it will because for the next three four books there's no way that they can keep that up and I was like I will willingly give myself a spoiler because I just I need to know that that gets broken and so sure enough I looked it up and it was like Yes, that gets broken in this book. And I was like, okay, good. That's the next book. Thank goodness. Because <laughs> I was like, I really do not want that. Plus, something else apparently happens in this book that also undoes something else that makes me really happy. So anyway, this book is also about 100 pages shorter than... Because is this the sixth? Yeah, this is the sixth. So this is about 100 pages shorter than the fifth book. Anyway, so <laughs> I kid you not, the last like 20% of that book was wild. I was like heart pounding, like what is going to happen? What's going on? I knew a character was going to die. So I, kn I knew that um, 100%. I was like, mm, this character is going to, nope. Um, and not to say I'm okay with that character dying, but I wasn't super attached to them. But anyway, whew, that was a wild ride. Now I got to write another post. Okay, so... I am going out to Target, which may have been a bad idea right now because apparently there's a severe thunderstorm warning and I am racing the clouds. I know I am not going to make it, so this may be a really bad idea, but I made my decision and I'm going to stick with it. I'm also, the direction it's having me take, I'm going to stop by and get gas too because that's something I was going to need to do tomorrow anyway, so if I become a coward I'll just get gas and turn around but I really would prefer not to do that so I already drove through pouring down rain once today I can do it again. it was so worth it to go I'm really glad I went today and not tomorrow because they were already out of a lot of books but I got my hands on a lot and I'm really excited because half of them are ones that I've had on my list for a while and they're very popular so that means at a lot of the discount or the books you know the library sales they're not there because they're so popular people buy them and then don't get Do rid of not them. lock my keys in the car that time i've gotten much better i always before i get out of the car anywhere i say where are my keys they're around my neck like and it's becoming a habit so it doesn't happen again anyway um so yes that is wonderful i always forget that the music turns on um so yes and not only that though because i told myself i was like you are paying with cash i was like you are not putting this on your card you are paying with cash that is the only like way you're doing this and so as i was sitting you know at the the self thing i was like you know what i was like i think i have a target gift card in my wallet so sure enough i found not one but two and i thought it was gonna be like ten dollars maybe no i got thirty dollars total off i thought that's what those gift cards were so instead of paying 74 i paid 44. Like, <laughs> made me so happy. And I had exact change, which is rare as it is, right? But I don't keep change in my wallet anymore because I put it in my little jar thing. So I don't keep change in my wallet, but 
And then I made it to the gas station. Uh, I was kind of like running on fumes and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna run there today, not tomorrow because I'm running on fumes. Got to the gas station and had a 10 cent reward to use. So gas was 2.94 for me. Made me so happy. So I am just, ah, uh, it's been a really good evening and I can't wait to go home and I'm gonna keep reading. I'm not gonna read for super long though. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, very, very happy. So before I forget, here are the books I got. So Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This one. Do, do. This one I have been wanting to read for so long. And then these ones too. There's both the books. The box set itself is originally like $32. Sorry, it's going to get dark. So... The fact that I got all of those together, including the gift cards I had for 44 is anyway, why I'm about 28% into the sixth book of the Zodiac Academy series, but I am heading to bed. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.